da, 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 jazzity jazz. Oh yeah, this is exciting. Hill Valley Stationers. So what's totally fucking sweet is that, like, it is genuinely Hill Valley. Like, the whole thing, minor spoiler alert, mm. you will visit more than one time period in the Back to the Future yeah, series. That's exciting. Uh, so it always looks like Hill Valley. Obviously, different time periods, different construction and whatnot, but it always looks like Hill Valley. It's fucking cool. Why is he always almost getting run over by cars? Hey, it's the Mormon lady. She old. But she looked really good for her age. She do look really good for her age. Why do we conjugate bad? I don't know. <laughs> I am a dog. Man. Excuse me, young man. Who? Uh, me? You're the hey, it's Agent Carter. Carter. And I'm looking for a man in the street reaction. Can you watch that show? You know about the uh, I've seen like half of it. I want to watch the rest. It's I like what good. I saw. Yeah. It's pretty good. I was I kind of it, surprised yeah. by the first What's episode. Your yeah. Carl Sagan, the stranger who <laughs> What's your opinion of Carl Sagan? Law has been unable to do for ten long years, namely rid Hill Valley of the scourge of liquor. Scourge of Liquor, that's a magic card, isn't it? <laughs> yep. Um, I'm a supporter. I'm, I'm say, a horse trainer. There's some kind of mistake. Some sort of mistake here. Doc, I mean, uh, uh, Carl wouldn't do something like that. It's surprising the lengths a person will go to when it's a clear-cut matter of right and wrong. You've got an honest look about you. You do support the side of righteousness, I trust. She also looks quite smug. I, I know Doc, or I'm a supporter. <laughs> I, re I hope that that's actually the reaction. <laughs> Not like, oh, but I know him. It's like actually just like, I know Doc! <laughs> I know that guy! Doc get himself into... Doc? Doc is his nickname. I'm good friends with Carl. You are? Really? Oh, but I need an unbiased opinion for my story. Pretend you don't know him. <laughs> I need an unbiased opinion. Pretend you have that. Um, I'm against... I am against bombs. Well, I'm not so big on bomb blasts. Yes, but this bomb blasted a speakeasy, the very symbol of lawlessness and corruption. You're also cleaning up the town, aren't you? You have a message for the vicious gangsters who still roam these She really just wants an unbiased opinion, Ted. She really just wants to write what she fucking wants to write. <laughs> so you're saying she's a good journalist. That's what I'm hearing from you. Um, what did she ask me? I missed it. Uh, I didn't catch it. Is there a ask him where I can get the address. Ah, I see. Because you want to blast it to smithereens oh, just yeah. like Carl Sagan did. With public-spirited citizens like you around, the lawless element will be on the run in no time. Mr. May I get your name? Yeah, it's... You get to pick. Sonny Crockett, Harry Callahan, or Michael Corleone. Who's Harry Callahan? Uh... I don't like any of these. Why can't we be Luke Skywalker? Because it has to be something appropriate for the conditions. Uh, I, I think the sort of su suggested one is Michael Corleone because you're in like yeah, 20s gangster Michael. times. Corleone. Corleone. Thank you for sharing Corleone. your candid opinions, Mr. Corleone. Edna Strickland, Hill Valley Herald. Ah, Edna see. Strickland. That's why she collects all those damn newspapers. Diddle, 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 diddle. Plot I'm, device. I'm familiar with your work. Something's happening. You read my <laughs> Something. Something's happening. I know it's just Something is happening. Oh, it's a dog. I am a dog. Creature yours. He assaulted me once before. What's got into you? Aggressive dogs must be kept on leash at all times. It's the law. Look it up. It's a fact. Look it up. She sucked. Back then and now. No, well, I guess back then and even further back then. <laughs> she'll grow on you. Don't worry about it. I can run. You can run. Oh, let's get my shoe shined. Let's not do that. No, uh, hi not hiring. That video, that porno store is, has exploded. It has. I guess this is where the speakeasy burned down. How would Doc ever get mixed up in that? What do you think his first clue was that this is the place? <laughs> it's the only building in town that's been exploded. Gale, law office sign. and fine. Attorneys at law. Gale, Zemeckis, Zemeckis and fine. Yep. Get it? Get it? Yeah. Get it? Bank of... Bank of Italy? <laughs> Today's special. Yesterday's soup. <laughs> Alright, so none of that's useful. Well, right, you can really go through, like, the whole place. Yeah, it's cool. I mean, obviously it's small, but, like, the real Hill Valley is supposed to be smaller. At least the town square. Like, he's able to walk from, like, that alleyway to the courthouse. Yeah. Like, you know, it's it's small. HVPD Ooh, sounds like a disease. It really to, does. Uh, Carl Sagan. Are you his lawyer? <laughs> um, no. Then scram. That was some voice acting. Why not just say then yes? Then scram. I love how just, like, talking into the door, like, the police station is like a sentient creature. <laughs> yes. Like, you just open it and look at the... the Hello, police station. Oh, 
<laughs> it's Carl Sagan. <laughs> what are you doing here? Look at his fucking ragtime hat. Look at that motherfucker in his ragtime hat. Would you wear, rag wear a ragtime hat if you had one? Hell yeah. Alright, next birthday present. Sweet. The automatic retrieval system, of course. I almost forgot. I forgot I installed a plot device. What's the getting you out of here? Plan? We don't need a plan. Where we're going, we don't need plans. <laughs> the police picked me up for that speakeasy fire a couple of weeks ago, but the DA hasn't got a case. They're releasing me tomorrow morning. NBD. Basically, I traveled 50 years into the past to deliver your car. Well, how the hell else was he supposed to get around in 1931? <laughs> See you. We have a lot of catching up to do. Yeah, you, you might want to hold off on that, Doc. Right, Scott. I'm going to be gunned down by gangsters on the steps of the courthouse. Why would they do that? Yes, Probably shouldn't know that. Am I burning down their speakeasy? <laughs> Fair point. Now we should come up with a plan. A plan. Right. right. But what? I don't know. I got nothing. Here we go. Go back. Let's go back in time. Let's make a stand. Let's talk to the gangsters. <laughs> let's talk to the gangsters. Clearly, it's a time. No, let's talk to the gangsters. Go back in time before you were arrested and stop you from getting caught in the first place. Great plan. Don't even think about it. Without my unjust incarceration, the events that sent you into the past might never happen, resulting in a paradox of continuum shattering proportions. Jeez, we've been back together for five minutes, Doc. And you're already talking about the end of the universe. I've missed that. Aww. <laughs> Ridiculous, Marty. I was only referring to the end of the universe as we know it. Important distinction. Right. This is talking to the gangsters. So talk to the like gangsters. Talk to the ga hey, let's talk to the gangsters. Talk to the gangsters. Tell them they're about to shoot the wrong guy. I don't think the criminals of this era are going to be very receptive to a complete stranger telling them that their secret assassination plan is misguided. Do you? Mm -hmm. mm, but I'm Marco Corleone. <laughs> I suppose I could just get some dynamite and break out of jail. No, no, that's far too dangerous. Not just to me, but to random innocent people in the past. The repercussions could be... <gasps> that's it! What's it? Kill everyone! <laughs> that won't be a paradox. Power drill? Not yet. I haven't built it yet. You've lost me, Doc. Listen, a few months ago, my 17-year-old self sent in a patent application for a rocket-powered drill. I abandoned the project after I never heard back from the patent office, but the prototype should be nearly complete. Oh, interesting, right? No, 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 that is interesting. We get to see a 17-year-old self. Yeah, yes, we do. How the hell am I supposed to sneak a half-finished rocket-powered drill into your cell? Not me, me. 1931 me. Wait a minute, Doc. You want me to convince your 1931 self to build a rocket-powered drill to break you out of jail? Yeah, what's so I weird see? about that? <laughs> Alright, I like where this is going. Yeah. Uh, well, how am I supposed to use it? What is space-time continuum? All right. Uh, <laughs> what about, okay. about the space-time continuum? The <laughs> idea. Where can I find you? I mean, uh, the other you. Oh, 1931. Sure. It was over 50 years ago. Why did you go over to the soup kitchen next door and give my house a call? They'll know where to find me. Soup kitchen. Got it. Just stay away from the soup. It'll cause irreparable damage to your digestive system. <laughs> See. I mean, it is yesterday's soup. All right. I guess I better get started. Don't worry, Doc. I'll get you out of here in no time. I'm not worried. Once you Did Soup Kitchen mean what it means now back together, then? You'll be unstoppable. Uh, I think it's similar and maybe a little different. I think for the most part it's pretty much the same thing. All right. Because, I mean, like, this is pretty much Depression era. So, like, I think Soup Kitchens were serving primarily the same purpose. Yeah, that's a good point. They were just, like, a little bit more commonly used because it was such a widespread economical problem. Can I have some soup? He totally didn't move his face at all to enjoy that soup. No, he didn't. He just like splashed in his face. Psh, psh, psh. Oh. Fly. Biff. Kid. Grandpa. That's Mister Tannen to you, Artie. What are you doing out here? Artie McFly. Well, ah. I was getting kind of hungry, so I figured I'd come down. I love how everyone is exactly soup. like literally well, every decade. Yeah, yeah. The same fucking the thing same happen. things happen yeah. over and over Fly. again. The DA's throwing around subpoenas like Babe Ruth. I don't think Ruth it's just, I really love <laughs> What are you what doing here? Well, I really wanted I some soup, <laughs> so... I could even get sent up the river. You wouldn't want that, would you? Uh... Would you? Uh, no, well, of course not, kid. Not that I'd oh, say to your face. What are you looking at, punk? Keep your eyes on the soup, kid. You haven't served me. 
Give me soup, then I'll look at it. Mmm, soup. Here? Until then, I'll look at this man in his stupid suit. Just run back to the safe house. You do that. And McFly? Yes? That hat's too flashy. You better let me hold on to it. Uh, now scram. I wish you would just put it right on top of his purple hat. Yeah. <laughs> Don't come out until I give you the all clear. I swear, if even one of you mooks could add two plus two without your fingers, I'd dump that wimp into the lake. Hey, anyway, I'm off to make myself... What is that? Why is it? Don't! Don't, don't pollute! No, I think he's... It, it took him a minute, but he caught on to the fact that that was an insult. Oh. Oh, he was talking to him? Well, he, he was he was insulting all of his men because none of them are smart enough to add. Uh, look, it's Guy. I'm gonna talk to him. I don't want to mess up his timeline. Hey, what's uh, special? Can you... Is it... I guess it's we already scribble. saw it's yesterday's soup. Nondescript soup served yesterday. I thought, I'm pretty sure phones didn't have dials back then. I'm pretty sure they were just operators. I think you're right about uh, that. Hi. Not I until like I could find Emmett Brown. maybe the 40s. Mm. Brown is currently tending to his clerking duties at the courthouse. Mm, yes, uh, all right. Courthouse. Doc never told me he worked at the courthouse. He courthouse. can be Carl Sagan's lawyer. <laughs> Problem solved. Now it's gonna become a Phoenix Wright game. No wonder I like it so much. Should I talk to you? To, yeah, talk to Cubo. What up, Cubo? How you doing? Um, you got shit in How name. you doing? Okay. Guess hey, not. Um, uh, never mind. Give me soup! Hey, Sebastian, I got some news. You got news? What kind of news? Some exciting stuff well, happened to me last weekend. What uh, sort of thing? Some significant event that will echo throughout time? Yep. I'm dead. <gasps> <gasps> that explains so much. The professor and I got engaged. That is super exciting. It was very exciting. It was a good time. I have literally, I, I've never seen her so happy as that moment at her engagement party. Oh my god. <laughs> when like everything just caught up to her. She literally, it was kind of amazing. she literally was giggling like a schoolgirl the entire. She just like, I she would she just laugh laughed. and I'd be like, "What's funny?" And she'd be like, "We eat." <laughs> that's awesome. I mean, that's. I feel like that is the desired reaction. Yeah. It was funny. Well, though. congratulations. I truly could not be happier for you guys. I'm Aww, super stoked for you. Thank you. How do I... The, the, why, the, why do you suck so hard? This is what happens when you have fixed camera. Run yeah, through I mean... The, oh, oh, okay. Luckily, it's a pretty straightforward open area, so the, the fixed camera isn't as big a problem as it could be. I have a dog. Hey, how you doing, Einie? He is uh, a dog. I'm a dog. <laughs> Alright, this way... How do we get to the courthouse? Practice. I mean, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> Crimes. Crimes will do it. Touch those. These are very sensitive legal documents. Nobody is supposed to handle them but sworn officers of the court. Papa, I mean, Judge Brown says so. Judge Brown? Doc. Uh, nice to meet you. I'm Michael uh, Corleone. <laughs> Brown. A straight a face. Clerk, not a doctor. Now please get out of my way. He's I a law clerk, not a doctor. Mm. His last name is Bones. He's like Einstein. Einstein was a patent clerk. Wait, That's true. Wait, Doc. Okay. Oh, sorry. Listen, Emmett, you don't know me, but I'm your friend. I'm not big on friends. They get in the way of work. What are you doing? The I've game crashed, something... by the way, so we're like 20 feet in the other direction. Yeah, I've got something important for you to do. I got something in my front pocket for you. <laughs> yes, definitely just hit him with your bus shot. <laughs> How about what are you doing? What business you're up to? Uh, business? Matter. Very complicated, very abstruse. I need to obtain five cents abstruse? of the nickel. Is that I'm not word? familiar with that word. Indemnification before Pop, I mean, before Judge Brown can even think of granting a waiver to the party in the first part. You have no idea what it's about, do you? No, oh, shut up. It is. Okay. Uh. Rocket drill. See, I'm a scientist too. I'm sort of in the science business myself. That's why I sought you out. Not that I care in the least, because science is the furthest thing from my own area of interest, which is very well, believable. I face. Don't believe you. It's true. I'm a scientist. Mm-hmm. 
So tell Michael me Corley, something, Mr. Scientist, from your vast storehouse of scientific knowledge. What? Um, uh, the leg bones connected to the thigh bone? I am in Amazing. high school. <laughs> Uh, all right. Uh, I'm in American public high school in the 80s. I uh, got something important for you to do. Rocket drill. All right, let's Come just on, go Doc. This. Uh, damn it. I dropped the Legal Eagle Act. I got something more important for you. Legal Eagle. I'm calling you that from Mr. now on. Corleone, Please do. I'll have you know that the law is the very mortar that holds society together. And we in the legal profession are like brick masons building the edifice of the future. Get it, bricks. Metaphor. Every morning. <laughs> Ouch. Gross. All right, tell me about your rocket drill. I understand you're working on a new invention in your lab. Invention? You must have me <laughs> Complete freak out. I'm invention? Why I never? Wait, no, wait. Just keep. No, wait. Talk to. No, oh, I tried. Hello? No solicitors. Oh, did I did I lose? I think he's gonna come back out. Come on, wait up a minute. Oh, there we go. Alright. That was... Can't you see <laughs> I bring the ruined game already. the game! Alright, um... Come on, tell okay. me about your drill. You don't want your old man to know. That's fine. Listen, we all keep secrets. But I'm telling you, you can level with me about this science project of yours. I the... am not a scientist! If you had a secret project right, and some dude just showed up... Equals. Yeah. What does so E really equal? Like this. I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> this is what E equals. Like, I have no context for what that... Ask me what it means! What does it mean? I don't know! <laughs> Great. But, like, if some dude just came up to you, you had, like, a secret project going on, and they just, like, knew all these details of it, I feel like you'd have a slightly different reaction than, No, I'm not doing that! Yeah. How about the last this one? What time are you through with work? Depends. On weeknights, Pop sometimes keeps me in the office till 9. Ouch. Nine and night, but today's Saturday. Right, so I probably won't get off before ten. Yay, family! How about quitting early? I'll knock off work early, and I'll buy you a beer uh, or soda. What do you say? A speakeasy. Kind of Yesterday's soup. What day is it? Sugary <laughs> beverages, keeping the wheels of justice turning. That's my one passion in life. Besides, I, I left before soda eight, thing my father killed me. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Sounds like you're a little scared of your father. So many options. Scared of my father? Pop is the most learned, just, incorruptible judge that Hill Valley has ever seen. The only people scared I'm of Judge Brown sure, are people I'm pretty sure, like, drugstores were like a hangout by the 20s. And I, don't have a <laughs> and I think that it was mostly for sodas. I think that's the case. Come on, you could trust right, me, Doc. So I clearly have to do this option. Damn it. It's your future I'm looking out for. In more ways than one. In, in two, simultaneously. What are you talking about? I'm talking about you and science. <laughs> oh, that word again! If you insinuate I'm a scientist once more, I'll sue you for defamation of character. I don't think so. God damn it! Just can we just get on with this now? This Tech, what is E equal? Give me a chance. MC squared. Harassment's a federal crime, what? Mr. Corleone. You, know? you must be some kind of scientist. I am a scientist. Damn it! Uh, about don't your say it. Rocket drill. <laughs> Well, you just then you just like kick him in the shins. Harassment's a federal crime, Mr. Corleone. This is going on too long. Do, do the other. Do the other. But I did this one already. Scared of your father. Scared of my father. Pop is the most yeah, I did this one already. Incorruptible judge that Hill Valley has ever seen. Then you the should probably consult the Negro Sages. Secret to hide. And um, I don't have a dark secret to hide. If neither of your options are doing anything, you you should probably. Go elsewhere. Uh, oh, I can't leave this head. conversation. There we go. So I have to leave him alone now? You should ask someone for something that will help you. Since you haven't found any new inventory items. Alright. So, somewhere else. Where will you go? I don't know. You have a talking dog. Perhaps he will help you. I don't think he will. because You he don't only, know that? He only says a couple words and none of them are useful. Maybe you should check with him just to be sure. You never know when the dog will be useful. No. Bank of Italy. Yeah, what up with that? Why is it all like scribbly and sketchy? I don't know. Is it supposed to be like a mafia reference or something? I'm not sure. I can't go any further that way. Can't go into the law offices. I can try going to the bank. I'm pretty sure like every building is going to do the same How thing. How can I help you, sir? <laughs> that would be money. I don't really have any business in there. What is with the voice acting in all the buildings? I don't remember trying to go into any of them. Clearly you're smarter than I am. Well, we'll have to figure out in the next episode. Hooray! Science! Join us then!
Okay. Maybe you could get some of his peanuts. Maybe that's what I you need. I'd go for some peanuts. Why not? I'm a magnanimous kind of guy. Go ahead. It's definitely got a better vocabulary than most of the tannins. Don't mind if I do. What the hell is that? Oh, are we gonna do that move? I don't know what you're talking about. The oldest trick in the book. Yeah. What the hell is that? Hey. I don't know why we're stealing his hat, but I'm sure it'll be useful. I want to know where all the peanuts went. That's what I want to know. What'd you do? Nothing. Everything's fine. Also, while I do love this game, this is like the lowest stakes chase scene in the history of time. <laughs> They're like running around an empty grassy courtyard over a hat. Yeah. A hat that he like stole randomly from some guy in the first place. And I can't imagine why Emmett would, like, agree to help you at this point. Yeah, I would not catch it if I Yeah, I'd be like, nope, no part of that! Want to be killed, thanks very much. Oh, that was smooth. Yeah, that was a pretty smooth move. 